welcome to this training program iatf 16949 core tools this program covers all the core tools of iatf 16949 which are process flow process fmea control plan design fmea spc that is statistical process control msa that is measurement system analysis PPAP that is production part approval process and APQP which is advanced product quality planning this program has video lectures of more than 31 hours duration with several several downloadable excel files for effective documentation of all core tools and quizzes are there in at the end of each section for testing your knowledge which you have gained from this training program i am shubhashish malik your trainer for this program and i am representing labtech institute india which is a iso 9001 2015 certified company and labtech institute is providing service to various automotive industries and various laboratories for IATF 16949 field and laboratory accreditation field that is ISO 17025 and other accreditation standards so welcome to this program in this section you are going to give an overview of the program so first we'll see the program objective The IATF 16949 2016 is the most recognized quality management system for automotive industry. The compliance to this standard gives the due recognition to the supplier of automotive business. The goal of this automotive QMS standard is the development of a quality management system that provides for continual improvement, emphasizing defect prevention. and the reduction of variation and reduction of waste in the supply chain the core tools are very important aspects for implementation of this qms standard there are mainly five core tools which are advanced product quality planning that is apqp which covers process flow and control plan also then there is potential failure mode and effect analysis it's called fmea this covers two types of fmeas that is design fmea and process fmea then there is statistical process control or spc then there is measurement system analysis or msa and finally production part approval process that is ppap PPAP also covers some specific requirements for bulk material suppliers for tire industries for truck industries which are little bit different from the usual structure of FMEA or SPC or MSA In this training program all these core tools are covered in deep details and in line with the applicable AIAG manuals the AIAG manuals which are the source of understanding for these core tools are APQP manual which is second edition FMEA manual that is fourth edition SPC manual is second edition MSA manual is fourth edition and PPAP manual which is also fourth edition Although overall responsibility of effective implementation of these core tools lies with the management but primarily these are implemented and sustained by sincere effort of cross functional team in the company Therefore a good understanding of these core tools is required across the company in various functions such as design engineering manufacturing quality procurement marketing service and even human resource development function to some extent for easy understanding of these core tools this program is structured into several sections and a particular order is maintained so that participants would get understanding in the appropriate sequence 
the sequence of these sections are put as process flow process fmea and control plan as first section as these three core tools are quite interrelated and should be documented simultaneously so that's why these three are combined in the first section then in the second section we have put design fmea once the participant has a concept clear concept of process fmea for him or her it is it will be easy to understand the concepts of design fmea design fmea is little complicated compared to process fmea but that complexity part can be understood if the person is going through process fmea first in that sense this design fmea is put as a second section then in the third section we have put statistical process control this aim of this statistical process control is actually soft floor implementation so that through this statistical process control the company prevents the production of defective parts so the soft floor implementation part is highly emphasized in this apart from the high level of statistical concepts and calculations even use of sophisticated software like minitab those things are also covered in this then comes measurement system analysis or msa which is kept as fourth section because some of the concept of statistical process control is utilized here so it will be easy to understand and internalize the concept of measurement system analysis particularly the complex parts of this like anova method and all these things if the statistical process control concept is clear to the participant then production part approval process is kept as fifth section because this section has all this combined documents all these documents in combined form that is process flow process fmea control plan design fmea spc measurement system analysis and some more documents and some parts also are to be submitted during the production part approval process so this is the final final submission document to customer for giving the first production lot which is manufactured at the site of the customer so this is kept as as fifth section because previous all these sections once those are understood it will be very easy to follow this production part approval process and then this advanced product quality planning apqp although this is the planning process so this is the start of the all activities this is kept as last section in the sense that in order to plan in a proper manner in an advanced manner this is an advanced planning process so in this advanced manner planning is possible once the participants really understand all other code tools because all other code tools will come in the part of the planning so that that is why this part has been kept at the last section so that once you are thorough with all of the code tools it will be very easy to understand the advanced product quality planning and you can do it do an advanced planning to ensure that the project of a new product development is completed in stipulated time frame and you achieve the customer satisfaction so you can satisfy the customer and and the end users also it is recommended that participants go in this program in this order this program can benefit the following group of personnel design engineer process engineer or engineers of other technical and techno commercial functions in automotive industry young engineer scientist involved in technical activities in manufacturing industry and wants to enhance their career with a formal added professional qualification as well as a deep understanding departmental heads and trainers of hr function who wants to provide training to their subordinates in iatf core tools without sending the participants for outside training for saving of time and money executive of a company can provide training to vendors of the company by casting these video trainings in a television screen or a projector screen and individual who is working as a consultant in iatf 16949 field 
will find these trainings are very interesting for his consultancy purpose also. Salient features of the training program are the course material is organized in sequence of several sections and subsections which I have already explained the order of the sections also. The basic understanding is elaborated in each section so that even a newcomer can follow this course very easily. The sections which are related to preparation of various documents are elaborated in details with examples in excel sheets and those excel sheets can be used for practical application also. At the end of this each section there are quizzes which will help recapitulation of the key understanding of various sections. Downloadable materials are provided which are useful for technical knowledge as well as for practicing these core tools activity and necessary documentation. A certificate of successful completion of IATF core tools PFLOW, FMEA, CPLAN, SPC, NSA, PPAP, APQP training will be issued by the instructor and Udemy after you complete this course. What will students learn in this course? If we want to see that, well, a clear understanding of various elements of core tools of IATF 16949 2016 quality management system and processes. Then the participants will be able to prepare and review PPAP document very effectively and, accord and coordinate with core teams to improve effectiveness of product design, process design and development activities. We will be able to review the PPAP of suppliers also very effectively. We will be able to formulate effective control plan for different types of process. So they will be able to make very effective control plan which will be realistic and which will give the real benefit to the company for controlling the processes. We will be able to contribute in internal audit and supplier audit process effectively. Let's just have a look on the pre-requirements for taking your course. Persons should have a degree diploma in science, engineering or technology. Persons should have some involvement in operational function of the company such as production, quality assurance, engineering, design, testing, inspection, supplier assessment, purchase, service, etc. Person should be familiar with working in Excel for making simple documentation, calculation, formatting, etc. Although Excel sheets are provided, even a person is working first time in the Excel for him or her also that Excel sheets will be very useful and because those are explained in a very clear manner. An awareness of quality management systems such as ISO 9001, IATF 16949 would be definitely an added advantage. And the person should cultivate teamwork in the organization because this implementation of these core tools definitely calls for a teamwork within the cross-functional team. So these three requirements are nothing very high. A very ordinary person or a newcomer in an industry can also definitely internalize these core tools because the subject is presented in step-by-step -step manner with lots of elaboration and lots of supporting excel files are provided. So we'll just have a look at the content of the training program that is the basic content of the various sections. So first this is the overview of training program which was this section and then process flow, process FMEA, control plan these three are combined in the section 2 and then there is design FMEA and then there is statistical process control or SPC and there is measurement system analysis MSA and there is production part approval process and finally there is advanced product quality planning. So there are quizzes at the end of each section from 2 to 7. So this is end of the overview section. Welcome to this course once again. Now you go to the sections of the course. Thank you. You can take this training program in online platform with flexibility of time 
according to your convenience. Go to the description part below this video and click on so more. You will see the link for this comprehensive training program as well as the training program for different core tools as separate program for each one. Once you have enrolled for any of these training programs, you will get lifetime access of these training videos in your mobile computer or any other internet active device. Also, there is an option of full refund in case you are not satisfied in early stage of the program. You can also cast these videos on the television or projector screen by connecting those with your internet device, that is phone or computer, and also make use of these for providing refresher training or internal training to your teams and also to your suppliers. You can also gift this program to any person to his or her email ID by clicking the gift the course icon as it will appear in the screen like this the Udemy platform so this is the end of this overview of this training program hope you have got a clear understanding about the content of the program once you click the link and you go to the Udemy platform and then you will be able to see few videos which are free videos which are given for preview so by watching those videos you can also make your judgment about the quality of this program and its usefulness to your context thank you